Hi, welcome to another tutorial on coding in C Sharp. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how to use conditional statements or uh, if statements in C Sharp to make comparisons. And we looked at um, comparison operators like greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, uh, equal to, and not equal to. Uh, so we looked at those different types of operators. In this tutorial, we're going to look at logical operators, which can be used to check for more than one thing. So let's um, start by, we've got some code here from the previous tutorial. I'm just going to change this a little bit. What I'm going to do is make a first name variable. I'll just say the value is Joe and a last name variable. And we'll say the value is blogs. Okay. now. What we can do is we can check if the first name is equal to Joe. And if it is, we can say, hi, Joe. And if it's not, then, oops, I'm just going to put the first name in right, I've got a capital N. If it's not, um, if first name is not Joe, then we can say something like, I don't know you. Okay, so let's run that. Now we get that message there, hi Joe. All right, now all we've done here is just check if the first name is equal to Joe. We might wanna also check if the first name is equal to Joe and the last name is also equal to blogs. So what we can do is inside this if statement, we can add two ampersands, which means and, and we can check if the last name is also equal to blogs. So here what we're doing, is we're checking if first name is equal to Joe and we're checking if last name is equal to blocks. Both of these conditions here have to evaluate for true in order for this statement here to run. So if, for example, the name is Joe Smith, then it's going to say, I don't know you because the first name needs to be Joe and the last name needs to be blocks. It can't be one or the other. Um, they both have to match. So now what we could do is run this and we still get the message, hi Joe. If we change this last name to Smith instead, we'll see the message, I don't know you, because it's checking if the first name is Joe and the last name is Blogs. all right? But what we could do is we could, if we just wanna check if one of these conditions is true, we can get rid of these two ampersands and we can just put two vertical bars. And you can usually find this by holding down shift and the backslash key. So we get two vertical bars. And so here only one of these conditions has to evaluate to true in order for it to say, hi, Joe. Okay, so here it checks, is the first name equal to Joe or is the last name equal to blogs? If one of these is correct, then we'll say, hi, Joe. And it says, hi, Joe, because first name is Joe. Um, so that evaluates to true and it doesn't matter that the last name is not um, blogs. Okay. And so we could switch this around a little bit. We could make the last name blogs. And um, so now first name is Joe, last name is blogs. So it still says hi, Joe. We could change the first name to something like Mary. And it's still gonna say hi, Joe, because it's checking whether the first name is Joe or last name is blogs. First name isn't Joe, but the last name is blogs. So one of those statements evaluates to true. And that's all we need because this is an or. We're using the or logical operator. So it still says hi, Joe. Okay, so that's um, those are the basic logical operators we can use in the C-sharp language. Um, that's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at switch statements. Thanks for watching.